What's going on YouTube? This is Hero Stormwolf and welcome to a special episode of my Skyrim mod series. This time we're going to be talking about how exactly I install mods, more specifically the Skyrim overhaul mod. First thing you need to do is go to the skyrim.nexusmods.com website, which is here right here as you can see. Sorry, I'm actually new to this, so cut me some slack here. First, you need to create an account. It's free, takes about 30 seconds. Second, you need to install Nexus Mod Manager. This is basically going to be where all your mods will be stored and saved at and will be installed automatically to your game. I'll install the latest version. Just click download, download now after you create an account. As you can see, it's down here. It takes about maybe 10 15 seconds to download, depending on your internet speed. Select installation, select your language. Each time you install the newest version, you'll get bug fixes and patches, notes, and stuff like that. So if you want to read through it, you can. It is saved basically to your C drive or whatever you name your drive to the program files folder. I would create a desktop icon just to make things easier so you can find. Click install. Usually takes about maybe 5-10 seconds to install. Now we're gonna not launch it just yet. Go to my desktop here. Here I know it's cluttered and stuff like that. As you can see here, here is the Nexus Mod Manager. We're gonna click on that. Now you won't get this when you first start up the program. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have a screen like this. Or it's going to scan for all the games you have that the Skyrim Nexus can use. Now, we're only going to be using Skyrim, so I don't need to have it search for all these games here. Now, each time it finds a game, you want to click on the green check mark. Then press OK. As you can see, now it only has Dragon Age and Skyrim. We're going to be going to the Skyrim. It takes a little longer to open up the actual program, especially when you install a newer version. But while that's opening, we're going to come back to the Skyrim um, Nexus website, go to search, and then click in Naruto. This is what we're going to be using as the example. And here's the Skyrim Naruto anime overhaul mod itself. Now, once the Skyrim, or not Skyrim, once the Nexus Mod Manager opens up, you're going to be asked, do you want to have all your mods automatically installed into separate folders? Such as this, where you have animations, armor, audio, bug fixes, clothing, things of that nature. I highly recommend this just in case you want to delete a mod so it's saved in a specific folder and it'd be a lot easier to find. So, as I said for this example, we're going to be using the Skyrim Naruto Anime Overhaul. Now, before you install any mod, I implore you to read the description. This will tell you if you need to use any other mods, if you need the latest version of Skyrim, if you need all the DLCs. Now, in particular for this mod right here, the Skyrim Naruto Anime Overhaul mod, you need to have all the DLC and be patched to the latest version of Skyrim. Here you can read a description of each of what the mod is, what's included in it, or any updates. Now, there's been no update to this mod since my last video, and I'll make another video about that separately. But for now, you want to go to Files. And usually, the latest version of the mod will be at the top under Main Files. What you want to do next is click Download with Manager. And then this is for Google Chrome. It asks you, do you want to launch the application with uh, the, the Nexus Mod Manager? You want to launch the application. And when you go back to the Nexus Mod Manager, you'll see that the file is downloading below here. Depending on how large the file is, it will take usually between a minute, sometimes longer, 
Now for this, it's going to take a lot longer, but I already have it downloaded, so there's no reason for me to download it again. I'm just showing you the process. Then it will be under Magic slash Gameplay, as you can see here, it's installed. Now, once it's installed, you want to go to the plugins and make sure that it's listed here under plugins. Now, for this, I believe it is listed under, let's see. It's been a while since I've actually redone this. There you go. It'd be listed as a, under jutsu.esp. Now you want to make sure that's ticked. If that's not ticked, then the mod won't work. It will not load and sometimes it will crash the desktop. So once you got it installed and once you have the ESP file clicked, you're going to want to open Skyrim. We'll close out of this. We'll lower this. And then we'll open Skyrim. Now it's going to take a little longer for mine to open because I'm actually recording my desktop. So you're going to see it to be a bit laggy, more so than usual. Go ahead and load a file. Okay, so now we're in the place that the mod should take place in, which is Riverwood. We're going to go over to the waterfall to where the G2 Masters are, just to show that the mod is indeed working. And as you can see, now we're inside the Jutsu Masters hideout. And now the mod should be completely working. Again, you need to have the latest version of Skyrim, as well as all the DLCs for this to work. Now, there are older versions of this mod to where you don't have to have those certain requirements, but I implore you to download the latest version because it has the latest fixes and... It has um, most of the spells as well, so that way you don't have to worry about not having a certain spell or if you get a huge bug. But that's it for this episode of the Skyrim mod um, videos I've been doing. Not really an episode, but more of just a video explaining how exactly I download mods and how exactly this mod in particular works. Catch you guys next time. Peace.